Sci-Fi Modeler. Uh, today I'm going over a build that I did uh, just a few months ago. This is the uh, Star Wars B-Wing from the Rebel Alliance. The kit itself is from MPC, uh, released in 1983. It is also re-released, uh, I believe in 1995 by AMT, and they also had like a go gold co colored version. Uh, this is one from the original uh, series from um, MPC. Uh, found on eBay uh, for under $30. Uh, this kit is getting a little hard to find and the prices are starting to go up so if you're interested in getting this kit um, probably wouldn't wait too much longer. To, they're getting harder and harder to find and the prices are starting to go up quite a bit. It's a fun little kit. Uh, not a lot of pieces. It is a snap together kit but uh, just going over the build of it um, yeah, it takes a lot of glue, uh, a lot of um, putty and stuff to fill the gaps to make it look nice. Uh, again, it's an older kit. There's a lot of gaps, especially where the uh, uh, the body of itself comes together. Uh, had to uh, putty and work on getting that all sealed up. Uh, so uh, you probably could light it if you want to. I didn't light it. Um, we'll take it off and just kind of go through the build. And uh, the wings do fold. Uh, the uh, cockpit does it's supposed to rotate. Uh, I believe I ended up sealing it in. Um, it was just going to be too much gaps and stuff to allow it to rotate. So I'm just taking a quick look. I tried to keep it true to what was on the box art uh, with the kind of the light gray body with the light blue accents on it. Uh, these are the original decals that were on it. Um, comes with three, uh, one for the lower part of the body and one for the wings. And that's the only decals that you get with the kit. Uh, it does come with a stand. It's uh, not very good. It uh, doesn't even really hold the, uh, the model up very well. So I made a quick one just using a little wood base and putting a little metal rod in it and using the existing hole for the uh, display. I also printed out a little Rebel uh, emblem decal and uh, just uh, glued it on here and then put some varnish on there just kind of seal it in. I painted it using, let me attach this again, uh, for the main coat I use uh, Tester spray paint. This is flat light aircraft gray and that was the base coat and for the blue um, I used my airbrush and I used Vallejo's grayish blue uh, to do the accents and then I uh, just went back and used some dry pastels to do some of the weathering effects of it. Oh yeah, some darker grays for the inlets of the engine and this part of the body. Uh, just roughened out, took some uh, sand, uh, sanding sticks and ground away to kind of make some more of the weathered look. And we'll see if we can get a closer look at the cockpit. Uh, the pilot is painted, try to keep them, I think he's that orange color that we see in most of the Star Wars movies and the cockpit's painted. Uh, this one, I believe, came with the tinted cockpit, and I believe there's also one that comes with a more clear cockpit. And I don't know how you uh, find the difference of those, but this one is more the tinted color. Um, but it's a fun ship. I love the design. Um, with a little bit of work, it uh, turns out to a pretty nice looking little model. So, there we go. Uh, just a quick review of uh, the NPC Star Wars B-Wing. And as always, have a good one, and we'll catch y'all later.